Masks of Gnarltep is set in the 1920s. We will be using terms and sayings from those times, including some that could be considered offensive. It is not our intention to offend. We merely wish to offer as accurate a view of the time period as possible. Welcome to the Nerds Domain Presents Masks of Gnarltep. Join us each week as our investigators follow a path of clues and attempt to save the world from an ancient evil. Starring John Quiet, Justin Kimmett, Shirley Nedswicky, George Chipples, Jason Hall, and Scott Troiano, with me, Matt Quiet, running the table as the Keeper. Eldritch evils and crazed cultists await you just beyond this music. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Nerds Domain Presents Master of Neural Tub. I'm here with Shirley. Hello. Jason. Hello. George. What's up? Scott. Hi there, I'm almost there. Johnny. Hi. Justin. Howdy. And Johnny, go yes. ahead and roll your fast talk. I assume that's what you were doing is fast talk. Yes. That's the one you're better at. There we go. Slightly. Okay. Um, yes, succeed. All right. Um, Harold Short, the uh, eyewitness who's still alive, or the, the man who was attacked that is still alive, is... He's here. Hold on. Oh. You find out, like, through, like, talking to people, oh, okay. and, and, that he is uh, still recovering at his brother's home in Norfolk, not Virginia. How far away is Norfolk from here? Uh, a ways. A ways, so we're not going to talk to him. Not probably anytime soon. Um, however, eyewitnesses in the Osgood <coughs> family and the Parkins family are available. Okay. Okay. Would you like to talk with... Which one would you like to talk with first? Um, the... Parkinson. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, he, uh, um, I guess what I would like to do look at is a map then of the three, loca- the three attacks and where they were located. Okay. Um, and then I'll... Go talk to the families. Who, who's all going with him? Because I would um, like to come getting a map, my, a detailed map of like the town might be difficult. They're just generic <laughs> works for me at this point. So like a sketch out, a would sketch, that work? a sketch that somebody, yeah, yeah. One of the if anybody in, in the bar is willing um, to, you might be able to get that out. from the constable. Okay, that might be a good place to get that kind of information. Yes, Scott. Oh so, right yeah, there. hold on. <laughs> so. um... You, do you want to talk to the constable first? Constable uh, Tumwell? I'm sure he probably wants to talk to us. Are you leaving the tavern? You will, to talk to the constable, you will not have to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally the, the, entire, the entire town is here. Oh. Oh, great. Well, yeah. Then, yeah if somebody will point okay, me in his yeah, direction. Sure. Okay. Um, well, we're all here. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, go ahead. Introduce yourself. Um. How, was I told his name? Uh, Constable Tumwell. Tom what? Tum well. Tum well. My tum is well. Okay. Tumness? Yes. Um, You're going to call const- him Tumness the rest of the game. Const- uh, Constable Tumwell. Uh, pleasure to make your acquaintance, sir. My name is Ian Byrne. Um, I'm from America. You probably picked that up. Um, my friends and I are traveling and collecting... Uh, Tales of Curiosity, and mm. uh, we couldn't help but um, when asking around in nearby or you know the, the last village uh, for interesting stories. Uh, of course, they pointed us in your direction. Um, we, uh, I was curious if you'd be willing to talk to me about what's been happening. Sure. Uh, what do you like to know? Um, well. Uh, Specifically, I'm uh, trying. I would. Let, my first question would be: Could you give me a general idea of where these attacks are happening? Oh yeah, out by the farms, uh, by the horse dealer, and uh, out near the uh, um, out by the the Osgood farm. Would you be able to like sketch a map so I can get a general idea of where? Oh, sure. sure. He yeah. sketches out a terrible, terrible map. Yes. I'm raising my hand. Sure, go ahead. Who did we buy the cow from? Not cow. Not <laughs> not dog's good. Just checking. Okay. <laughs> he he sketches out a terrible, terrible map. Okay, but I mean, can I get it? You get a general idea. 
Um, um, they're kind of northish side of town. They all are the on the north station. side. The gas station pick up on no, they they may not even have a petrol station here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So all the attacks were petrol. on the north side. Yes, not northish. Northish. Yeah. yeah, but not like. One on the north, one no, on the east, no, one on the west. no, 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 no. Are they are they all by the spooky church? No, burned down mysteriously. No. Okay, just checking. I was with you when I heard that. Like, that they are right. they the north side of the, of the town is kind of bordered by um, some woods, so that might be why whatever ha- whatever attacked had um, cover from the woods. So um, that might be part of the reason why. Well, and th- this thing that that done the, the done the killing. Uh, Clearly, just a big wild dog. Indeed, mm-hmm. I'm, mm-hmm. I, like I said. Uh, well, and I'm pretty sure he's gone off to die in the hills. He he hadn't have been in trouble since. Thank God. Indeed, I I, I completely uh, agree that that is um, that's a good thing that, uh, that that that's that's probably true. What I, I'm like I said, I'm collecting stories. And as like you're talking, yeah. um, a guy a guy at the next table says, "Ed." That's not what you told. That's not what you told the the big city police when they got here. Not some wild dog then. And Tumble's like, "Shut up!" <laughs> so we've obviously been drinking early in this pod. Two of two of the guys have. They're over at the table, like snickering and like still like um, ribbing at him, but like quieter now. So go ahead, Johnny. What were you saying? Um, I forgot my, my train of thought. <laughs> Just got totally blown away. You were getting more uh, stories, That's right? We're saying. gathering, yeah. so we're gathering stories. So we're 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 interested. I mean, we're interested in the facts, but um, you know, as much as much as we can gather, um, I heard you, I've heard rumor there are um, eyewitnesses. Oh uh, yeah, there were uh, um, John Parkins. Uh, he didn't see the murder, but he found her, the body of his daughter. Uh, you might talk to him and uh, Edith Osgood, uh, wife of dead farmer Osgood, uh, heard a noise and went out to investigate. Uh, you might talk to her more about what she saw. Are they both in the good spirits? I would not wish to offend. Uh, it's been a couple of months, I'm sure. Okay. Um. Um, anybody else at the table? trying to get information while he's specifically asking like are you just engaging the crowd yeah. or I will actually go and try to engage the two rowdy people who <laughs> okay I'm <coughs> going to watch them talk to people and see if I spot anyone obviously lying okay for a little um, psychology and I'm going to inquire if there is a polterer in town what's a polterer person uh, that makes poultry yeah that chicken. makes poultry oh. like that butchered like chickens, geese. They probably all the farms probably do it themselves. The town's not big enough. Can I buy chickens? Chickens sure. and geese here. I mean, already probably cleaned. Started. Already. Uh, you probably from one of the farms. Buy a chicken for dinner. Oh, you're not just gonna eat it. Wait, um, the the bubble. The no, not a cooked chicken. Oh, okay. He's getting bait. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, oh. I'm sure. Yeah, that oh. that that can be handled. Okay. So it is a dreary day, so if you go over to like the the, the the general store, you're gonna have to come back to get the people running it to have them come over with you. You know what's really good for bait? Some guy at a long night. You're not funny. <laughs> what you want to do is you want to make sure you want to make sure he's wearing something shiny like on his hands, <laughs> <laughs> and he's traipsing through leaves. So yeah, he's easily yeah. tracked, crunching and sticks, yeah. and um, yeah, so. I pray it's fun. Um, the constable is clearly not lying, but he, calling it a big dog is kind of... He thought it was something else. I got that. Yeah, downplaying. <laughs> yeah. And he also doesn't seem, he seems kind of a, like, not like a joke, but more of like, not a smart man. He's not a... a, a He's a small town constable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's more of the uh, you go on home now kind of guy. Yeah, small the, town sheriff. Yeah. Been. Yes, if he was if he was more, he'd be in Scotland Yard, but he's not. Yeah. Got it. But like, as they engage these people, is there anyone who comes off like they're hiding anything or anything like that? Uh, no. Well, hold on. No. Okay. 
anybody object to the line of question that we're bringing up? Like uh, it's not something that should be talked about? No, no, no. It's it's kind of been the talk of the town for a little while. Okay. Is there anybody that's particularly hairy or gross looking? No. <laughs> no no well, more suit individuals? No more gross looking than the you know, oh. country town. So. <laughs> we apologize uh, for I want English to listeners. pull the sheriff aside or the constable, whatever. Mm-hmm. It's England. Like somewhere private where he and I can talk about what he really thinks happened. Uh, okay, give me a persuade, I guess. Pass. Uh, while you're trying to talk to him, um, a man kind of uh, stands up and says, "I I saw." I saw a glimpse of the thing. No dog be a walking around on his back paws, Hubert, and no dog be air ripped bone for bone in such a way as done p- to poor Lydia. And where did he see this? Uh, out by, uh, out by the, the the Parkins house. Okay. How long ago was it? Two months ago, when the when the murders originally occurred. <clears throat> Could you, uh, sir? I'm. This this story gets better and better the more we hear. Could you? Um, are you buying? I'm sorry, Jesse. You're yes. buying them drinks. Yes, I am. Okay. And then I'm going to ask them. You said he didn't tell that to the the big city police. What? What did he tell the big city police? Um, it's uh, that's something you'll have to talk to the constable about. We just know that he he it wasn't oh a big dog. It was there was a lot. It was it was a downplayed nearly as much. So was the guy um, who just spoke up one of the two he was no, talking to? No, so but I'm he take... mentioned earlier before Jason. That's mm-hmm. why I was trying to get to him. Yeah. So you were All right. Go ahead. So I'll ask the guy if he could, uh, given the rough drawing of that the constable has rendered for us, could he give me an idea of where the Parkinson house? Parkins. Parkins uh, house. Um, it's one it, it is uh, the northernmost house is the Osgood house okay. and it's a it's a farm so it's like there's some uh, there's a field and then the woods oh, okay. um, slightly in and east is the Parkins house and a little farther in and west so the rough drawing the Parkinsons actually run a tavern they serve beers and there's less than an inch in the glass every time they serve it it's terrible <laughs> our apologies to our Parkinsons listeners um, so, uh, they live on J. Fox block. <laughs> this, this is oh, like, like it's great. This is great radio. It's, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it's great if you've got aerosol cans because you just hand them over and just. And then so just ready well, to go. draws this map. Uh, I would also like to inquire if anybody has moved into the town in the past three or four months, or has anyone left the town in the past three or four months. And I love watching him while he's drawing this, and his pages are going nuts on his little yeah, iPad yeah. underneath there. That's uh, awesome. No one has moved or left. So this is the Osgood farm. Can I just have it? Yeah, has anyone Harkins and then the other one. Has anyone been bitten by Texas. werewolves or cursed by gypsies? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, just casually <laughs> asking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I don't ask that. No. When's the last Osgood? time a gypsy caravan's been through this? That's town? the Osgood farm. At the top, Parkins. Where's the local left? gypsy encampment? <laughs> Parkins is oh. on your right. <laughs> our apologies to our Romani listeners. <laughs> well, there's nothing offensive about that. Yeah, gypsy is a slur term, but that's oh, okay. Well. Hey, what was the other name? Where? Uh, what was it? Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sorry, I lost the page while I was drawing. I didn't even your map. <laughs> Short, Harold Short, the wheel Short. maker. And these other. Shapes that you rendered are <laughs> houses. I the told you the map. Saying this I, I started with the map was terrible, so I gave you a terrible That's map. That's fine. I'm, I'm no and I'll fairness, that. my good map would look just like that. And where are we in location? Uh, that big one down at the very bottom. Uh, there's more houses to the south, but uh, that is kind of the tavern. And the he didn't really draw it, but there's a there's a general store right across the little street there. So, so professor, yes, we we have all kind of jumped to certain conclusions. But you, you, you're knowledgeable of things. I assume geology is one of them. Could there be a cave in this kind of region where something could make a den? What's your geology now, Mr. 831 <laughs> skill points? 
I have no idea. <laughs> so I'll go back to the. I'll continue my conversation with the local now. I had a one percent chance. After he's helping with the map, yeah. Um, you said you saw the creature retreat into the hills. Uh, yeah. Could you? Would you be willing to show us the area? Yeah, when the rain lets up. We're not traipsing around, getting all wet. Will That's the rain fine. let up? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, sometime tomorrow, next uh, day. I don't know. Dirty shower. Very well, thank you. Uh, then we will. I will be in touch. Oh, can I? Answer. Where can I find you? Should I need to call on you? Uh, here, you can ask around here. Okay. All right. So, uh, did you want to talk to the Osgood family or the Parkin family? Which one here? was the most re- most recent attack? Uh, Harold Short was the most recent. That's kind of out of the question, but right. you could. Uh, Osgood was the first night, and then Parkins was the start, second night. And were these months apart, or were these... these no, these were, da- like, boom, boom, boom. night one, night two, night three of the full moons uh, in the oh, same month. So this was last, so this was last month? So it, there's... It, all of it was in three days of the full moon. The full moon's actually a three-day thing. Okay. But again, my right. question was, a minute ago, can, let's just stop. A minute ago, we asked when this happened. You said a couple of months. Yeah. So the, been... so the Osgoods, the Parkins, and the Shorts were attacked a couple months ago. Yes. So nothing happened last month? No. All right, that was what I was asking. That, yeah, we were under the impression that this happened last month. See, nope. and I thought it was one happened yeah, one, one month, month, one the next month, one nope. the next month, and we were in month four of... Okay. No. So there's been one attack in <clears throat> a three-month period. Three month period. At the beginning of a three-month period, nothing since. Yes. There's been three attacks, but yes, I get what you're saying. One yeah. series yes. of attacks yes. in three days. So there's been effectively one incident... Yes. Okay. Now, then any trail in the woods is going to be cold and useless. I feel like the burnt down church would be the obvious hiding spot for somebody. I I, 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 I will. Are are you questioning about stuff? My, my, my trail kind of just died out there because I had a different understanding of what was going on. Um, I still want to talk to the Parkins, but I'm not as inclined to have it happen because I don't. I mean, I don't see how one attack is. Okay, um, Constable, you you mentioned that you figure it just went into the woods and died. Was it wounded at all? Yes, I shot it. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. You were at the shorts you, you when that decided to track uh, yeah, down and, the beast. Um, I actually. Uh, um, Harold Short drove the creature off and. Uh, I got there quickly and found it not too far away, shot at it, and it ran off into the hills. I couldn't find it. it oh, well, then in that case, die. I'd like to start with the constable and ask him if he would be willing to show us yeah, when the rain lets up. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Professor, would you like to go to church out? Yes. So I have another question. They did their occult role to find out if they knew anything about werewolves. Is this like werewolves, just werewolves, or werewolves like lycanthropy? That's a good question. It, it would probably knows. be like in, uh, in, this is the werewolf. Like werewolves. Yeah, you, you have to remember that this is the real world yeah. as far as everything's yeah. concerned. So yeah. it's just werewolves. It, I mean, it could highly be just lycanthropic disorder. I mean, it's probably just somebody who thinks they are. Well, is what I'm hoping. I'm banking. No, 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 no. This is someone who ripped someone apart. It's because not someone who's got too much hair on their face. Right. If if this thing got shot. Maybe somebody in the town has a wound. Well, that was where I was. Yeah, I was, I was going to ask has anybody been there. I'm banking on uh, Lupin Hexen. Cursing. No, it's where you wear the mystical belt that turns oh. you into a werewolf. Oh, oh okay. You're supposed to like hands. So people can been choose. reading some yeah, Harry Potter right now. Uh, but you don't need the full moon for that, though, do you? Uh, I'm thinking that Matt. Created a world of darkness called the Thule crossover, and isn't telling us about it. So we're about to face the Prinos. Oh, in, in all fairness, uh, it will be a whole pack. Yeah. Oh well, good. It'll be Don't worry, short. The leader's only rank five. Okay. okay. Well, and only only one of you, or I guess two of you, have uh, g- gained the taint of what? What's that called? Worm. The worm. Yeah, yeah these two have the worm. So. Oh, great. Good. Excellent. We're That's screwed. Hard. Yes. Yes. <laughs> they they love the tequila. And ring the worm. ring worm. Yeah. Walk around barefoot. So, I guess it's called the worm. Whatever. I'm, 
So, yeah. um, as, as, you, church is a Catholic church. as you kind of mill about <laughs> just a little bit, like you're look, trying to Ooh. gather your thoughts while Maybe. the rain's still going, it does slow down and stop. And the constable goes, oh, and like finishes his beer <laughs> at, you know, 10, 15 in the morning and puts it down and says, okay, come on. So, and I'm wondering uh, if he has his way, if we're going to have two was it churches Scott, at the same time. Scott. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Would, the, would the constable have already paid for the drink? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Or or he has a tab of some sort. I mean, okay, they know where he lives. Yeah. Well, he'll he'll have to arrest himself. <laughs> I will, yeah. you know, pay and tip generously. Oh, okay, as appropriate. okay. Generous but not ostentatiously. Okay. She's kind of more well, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> right. So okay, silly uh, peasants. You know, and. Try to be as genial and pleasant and... Is anyone else going with Mr. <laughs> well, no, but, <laughs> I, 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 like, I, I would like to ask also just some questions about what's the story with the burned down church, fellows? Um, hot fire uh, a couple of decades ago. And did you build the second one? Yeah, uh, the Vicar. Uh, vicar. The vicar, the right reverend Jeremy Stratton. Um, <laughs> he was uh, instrumental in getting that built. And what church does he have? Church of England. Oh, the the gentleman, the American gentleman, seems to know what's right here. What was the name again? Uh, the Right Reverend Jim, Jeremy Stratton. Just to be clear, you're not carrying any fire implements, right? <laughs> All right. Then it was just a normal fire, just some of the candles caught. Uh lightning strike. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not strange at all. No, it happens from time to time. Sounds yes. perfectly where, natural. <coughs> where, where were you a couple decades ago? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I guess that's something. Where would the church be on this map? Uh, further south. I <laughs> right it's, there. It's, it's in, it's so in town, right? In. Just yeah, build. try to put a square on there. Honestly, it doesn't matter other than those three attacks were kind of on the north side. The rest <laughs> of it. And the church is not on the north side. Add some amorphous blob and call it a church. Oh God, that is hey, a horrible Mark, map. I'm gonna tag along if you don't mind. Please do. I, I was actually wondering if you would like to accompany us. I hear you're pretty good at breaking into things. What? Do you say that in front of the police officer? <laughs> Does he say it in front of the police? Do you say it in front of the police officer? Yep. I forgot about the police officer. He did. Probably. Yep. Oh man. Well, that... So she glares at you. And, walk, no, and, and just and all yeah, us. walk Turns this way, around please. And walks away. I would feel safer had knowing somebody who is good with guns being able to watch her backs. She well, <laughs> no, I'm just like... She's not in her duster. <laughs> would, would you like to <laughs> come here? Are you wearing a dress? Yeah, I'm wearing a dress. think you would. Like Do you have gu- your guns with you? <laughs> I have uh, <laughs> guns. Okay. No, I mean, no, no I, we should take a few moments. Shot. We should change. Excuse well, me? Guys, let's, I, I, guys yeah. let's lower the crosstalk, please. So. Why? I thought you guys wanted me to fit in. No, around the around the Wilkerson house, that was um, it was nice of you to conform. But now that we're out working, we <laughs> should uh, you should feel comfortable to do as you wish. And since we're going to be traipsing around the hills <clears throat> in the rain, okay. So she hugs. I, do you know? How long it took me to get into this thing this morning? <laughs> I'm and sorry, I, and I think it looks I, quite charming. Well, yes, but well, we're going out walking. In the, I I don't disagree at all. But are I'm you saying, wearing are you wearing boots? She lifts up her skirts <laughs> and shows you her boots. Yes, well then that's perfectly fine attire to go out into okay, well, wherever you would want in the countryside. Still, bring your sidearms, please. Goes upstairs and puts her like her belt on around her dress. <laughs> and then has her, like, Probably sits cape. a little higher than you're yeah. used to, but <laughs> she has her cape on, so it's like draped over it. Are, are you wearing your hat? No, she's not wearing her hat. Anyway, eventually, so I guess we go out dressed that way. Okay. Um. So, is, are you the only one going with him? Who, who's all going which directions? There you go. Eva's going with Bernie. If you're going to the church, raise your hand, which everybody in the listening world would surely be able to hear. Do we what? need to go to the church? Where are, you, where are you headed? I'm going to see the attack site mm. with the constable and Miss McCree. Well, I mean, the church. In the day. You can't come with us, Mr. Wilkerson. 
Sir. Matt, the, the church mm-hmm. is in the town, right? So it would be yes. like just yeah. two minutes maybe from the pub, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, so we, we could, could go all... kick around that and then head out. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not saying that in character. Is that in character? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's it's, it's it best if we don't split up. When we split up, bad things happen. Um, it didn't happen while we were alone, too. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the split up part. So, yes, we'll do the church first, and then we'll go up and investigate the site. Very well. Okay. You guys, as, as a group, head to the church. I get a case also out of my room, which is... Contains my shotgun and stuff. Okay. So you head to the church? So yes. as an armed mob, we head to the church. <laughs> well, if we're going out hunting, that's <laughs> wonderful. If we're going out hunting, why not? Yes, I'm bringing why my shotgun. Going to the church? It's a poke around. Just poke around. Okay. And a church. Well, no, this, is, this, is, burned down this church. is the burned, the burned out oh, house next to the... Down church. <laughs> Should I only bring one shotgun or two? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Would so you guys anything? head over to the church... Uh, and you find uh, the foundation and a couple of like cornerstones of a building that used to be there, and that's about it. And the new church is there. Are you looking at the old church or the new church? I'm gonna look at the cornerstones and see if there's anything weird, any strange markings. Uh, there's a little bit of scorching that's probably very old, like two decades. Hmm. Um, but other than that, no. Was it a wooden floor? Can you see in the basement? No, it was, it was not a wooden floor. It was a it was a stone floor. It wasn't concrete. It was it's like it was stone. worked stone. Yeah. Is there concrete? a basement? Uh, not that you can see. Does it look like people have been moving around a lot lately? I mean, it has been raining. Is there... No. Nothing really. I'm going to go up and walk, start walking on the stones. Okay. I'm going to look for a basement. Give me a spot hidden. <coughs> yeah. I'm going to be checking. Can we all do that? Yeah, you sure all can. <laughs> that um, tone of voice tells us I, there's nothing there. I do yeah. actually take an interest in... in He's, the new church is built like right next door, right? Yeah, yeah. like literally next door. Yeah, you have to get below that. Below that. Oh, then I got it. You want to mark that then? Oh yeah, let's do yeah. that. I've, I'll take another look at the outside of the new church, not getting out of sight of the group. Okay, let's talk about the old church first. Go ahead, and you can go ahead and roll though. Um, who all succeeded on their spot? I did. Yay! Okay. Um, it's a worked stone foundation, um, English. In the ground. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's pretty solid. <laughs> Not going anywhere. Said. Is this a gazebo thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna look on the metal. I don't know. Why don't we magic around? missile it and see how it works? Yes. Um, John, the yes. new church is um, stone and a church. <laughs> I mean, these are these are pretty. It's a church. This um, is not the plot you're looking for. Move along. The, the Vicar might be available at Vicar. The Vicar <laughs> might be available at the church at the new church, though. If you wanted to talk to him, since he, uh, I recommend Bosello not be a part of that meeting. Yeah, oh, I'll be there. Yeah. Well, if Burns knows <laughs> around the new church, I'll kind of join him. Yeah. Not finding much of interest in. If there was any reason you wanted to talk to the Vicar, it would be now. Right? Do you think we should speak to him? Time. Not right now. He doesn't have any. Okay, again, John's. Not sure he's got everything in, in his own head. Does the vicar have anything to do with the werewolf attacks? Well, small town, so he might have information. He may not. So, well, is he like so? There's a party of seven people milling I would have, I would have expressed that I find it weird that there's a burned down church, and and t- 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 if we could get out of earshot of the constable, like getting struck by lightning, we're dealing with cults here and strange places of worship, and we should look into it. And if, I, I, is what I think. I hate to be the kind of one against the whole occult thing here, but we are dealing with thatched roofs and a church. The church would be a natural. Yes, but it doesn't hurt to place ask. For like well, and not to mention, here. and not to mention the fact that if anyone in the immediate area thought for a moment that this was in fact a monster and not some dog, as True. the constable says, they might mention it to the vicar. It's a good point. point. The church is off in the first it's place. It's at that point, like, you kind of wandered away from the hospital that you hear the hospital go, yeah, yeah, we, we talked to the vicar about it. <laughs> 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 and, and you look at him, and you get, you know that that look, like, when you take a dog hunting, and it's like, look, I killed something. And, he, and it's just kind of like, yeah, kind of. this is cool. Wilkerson found his face. He has that look on his face. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Was he within earshot? Uh, he moved closer to your shot. You guys kind of, but, is it, but it's not one of those where we've wandered off and we went. So 
You know, yeah, like, he's not yes, on, I've got that. No, Ears no, of a dog. No, and I'm like, was, wait a minute. It was, <laughs> you guys wandered off and started talking low. So he wandered over closer so he could hear. And you guys, not that you're like, it's, it's, you guys are just talking and don't, you're, especially you, Captain, are used to proper English people acting proper. You're in podunk England. Yes. Podunk England, they don't necessarily have the same habits. and They're not worried about yes. being polite. And everybody yeah. knows everyone's business. So yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. So when he wandered over, he just wandered over. All right. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Got Does he have hairy hands or anything like that? No. <laughs> he's, got this huge, he's got this huge unibrow that goes from one sideburn to the other. Curious. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Uh, no, no, he, he looks that. perfectly um, kind of goofy. Englishy. Podunk. Yeah. Yes. You know that look Josh gives you sometimes? Oh, now I feel. I, don't, I, I can't explain shower. why, but for some reason oh. I think the Vicar's the werewolf. That's exactly where my mind went. <laughs> that's just so, like but, somewhere in the back of my brain. That's so meta gamey, though. That's so meta gamey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, like seriously, like somewhere in the back of my head, I'm like, it's the priest. Like I don't know why I think that. I'm just like, it's the priest. Because Anyways, it's, so not, it's I knock on the door. Do you knock on the door? And because open it, was it's a church, and I think that'd be okay. You probably go to the residence. It's still early morning. He may not be. Then I would knock on the door and not open it. Yeah, you, so you go to the residence at the back, um, yes. knock. Um, a young, an elderly lady comes to the door. Yes. Are you the? Well, vicar? you're not the vicar. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's like, might might I might I you? get the reverend for you? That would be wonderful. Excellent. Uh, she come come in and she like brings you into a small sitting area, um, not enough to accommodate the seven of you. Uh, to sit, but you all have plenty of room to stand. And she goes off and comes back, and uh, a um, slightly older man um, enters, dressed as a uh, good English reverend would. Um, what can I do for you, gentlemen, lady, today? Well, we are um, travelers, and uh, our goal is to find interesting stories. Um, we were in the next town over. And we heard about your um, incidents a few months back. And um, we're interested in collecting details. Um, it occurred to us that the, uh, the, that the town pastor is certainly someone who might be, will, might be able to... Or might have interesting aspects of the story to share with us. Um, if you'd be willing. Mm-hmm. He rolled persuade while, while you're talking. Not fast on. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to be casually observing the yes. room. Yes. Market. Nice. Um, sure, I can uh, tell you what I know. Uh, I've spoken with the families, obviously, and... Um, yes, tragic losses, though. Uh, Mr. Short, um, after their attacks... Uh, Do you know, is he healing well? Uh, from the last uh, information I got, yes, he is healing. It, it might be a while he was hurt pretty badly. Well, we're still um, glad to hear that he's going, that he's recovering um, comfortably. I don't don't know much more than, you know, secondhand knowledge, something you could get from um, the Parkins or the Osgoods themselves, although I guess Mr. Short's uh, recollection may be a little difficult to get mm, he is, as, as he is in the situation. Uh, yeah. And I, I'm sure the constable has been very helpful well, in we've all heard, he's done. We've heard a few stories, but we were curious. Um, has anyone told you of further incidents, strange occurrences, missing animals? Have you heard any rumors of that nature? No, not really. No, um, I've nothing more than you know the strange wolf attack of sheep or something like that. But there have been other animal attacks. Uh, not the same, though. I mean, you know when a wolf kills something and drags it off. Sure. You can you can follow the blood trail and there's usually, uh, th- but it's not never it's never really um, so the wolf, violent. The wolf takes the food with it. Yeah, and it's never so violent as limb from limb, right. and, and that's what we, um, what we've dealt with with these murders. Was there any evidence that there was more than one creature involved in the attack? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Uh, Jason, actually, anybody besides Mister. Burn can give me a psychology. I'm kind of too involved in the conversation to really pick up on. Even though I'm an investigator, this yeah. is what I do. Yeah, because you're... Yeah, trust me. Yeah, Fine. I got it. I got it. You guys can all mark it. Um, he's holding something back, and it's 
it's a fiddle with like I would have got it. <laughs> oh, see? Why so why waste your time? Um he's fiddling while while Mr. Byrne is kinda of talking to him, uh, he's fiddling with something just out of Mr. Byrne's eyes. Um it's a small uh, like you so if we're talking like this and there's a table and he's okay. he's fiddling with he's something nice. that they're that that, oh, that they're picking up on that you're not because you're engaged eye to eye okay. instead of watching the whole scene. Well, I'd still be watching the whole scene. I'm mm-hmm. investigating. I kind of do, do the. I'm looking like around <laughs> and I look at stuff and like I make it so I make my way okay. closer to them so I can see what he's fiddling with. No, well, you all notice it's a small key or probably a drawer. Is he? Does he have it in his hand? He's fiddling with, or it's on the table and he's just. Kind of it's in his hand. Fiddling with it. This might seem like an odd question. Well, we're but talking. You, about this. this is a smallish town. I, I mm-hmm. assume not very many people have reason to travel outside that often. Do you know if anybody has recently left the village, or, or left the village within the last two months, um, or no. around the time of the attacks? No. Um, I mean, other than normal travel, now. What's normal travel? Oh well, we all have our. Uh, family and friends, and the Yule has passed recently. So, other than that kind of thing, no. Uh, the world. So, what kind of what kind of wounds is he healing from? Uh, clawed and bit. Why was he able to survive when the others did not? Uh, he drove the monster off, is the, the story that uh, I was told. Do you know what with? No. Um, I believe he hit it with with a large uh, <coughs> uh, weapon that he had been using. A weapon? Well, not, uh, it, it's a tool for his job that he had been uh, using and was left out. And so he not was just attacked. like a plain stick? No, no, a, a large hammer, if I, know, if I understand correctly. And what does he do for a living? It's the wheelwright. And because John's an idiot, a wheelwright would be the person yeah. that makes the wheels yeah. for yeah. wagon, wagon parts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which would require a hammer. So yeah. not... No, yeah. Or it's, does it's... the metal rimming that goes around the outside of the wheels. Mm-hmm. There you go. Okay. Just making sure <laughs> I had that opinion. Or no, I... yeah, a wheelwright would be the metal, the woodworking part of the... The woodworking part? Yeah. Oh, not just the parts in general. Yeah. Yeah, the blacksmith would probably do the rimming. Okay. The rim of a wooden wheel. Come on, people. Oh, I was right. totally waiting for him to be like, I have a question. Will you enjoy burning in the fires of perdition? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. I appreciate <laughs> Did you grow up here, uh... What's his name? Vickers? Robert. Wood, was it? No. No. Um, Stratton. Yes. Stratton. No, no, I grew up, um... Elsewhere and attended uh, university at Cambridge. Oh, have you noticed any strange local customs? Any local practices that might be out of the ordinary? No, no. Mm. good. We don't mean to pry. We're just no, good. looking for interesting stories. Good, good people of the church here. I, I don't know why. I just like in the back of my head, I'm like, it's totally the priest. <laughs> like even right now I'm wondering like should I just stab him <laughs> <laughs> I've been wondering that the whole time since we walked in here like I, I can't explain why like I just in the back of my brain somewhere there's this little voice that's like it's totally the priest <laughs> Jesse Jesse to be perfectly honest you want to stab the constable and the priest it just Actually, I well, like no, he, he, so Jesse would probably like to go around just clubbing everyone in the town and <laughs> converting them to the true faith <laughs> on pain of death what is of your Botticelli's Catholic right yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> the so, most orthodox of cattle. Is there anything else I can do for you <laughs> folks? No, but, uh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to speak for everybody. Would you mind showing us the uh, um, church? I'd like to light a candle if I might. Oh, yeah, he leads you that way. Does he limp or anything? Or no. Does he walk or anything? Okay. So the the attack was two months ago? Is anyone else going with yes. Yeah. Mr... Yes. <laughs> no, he let him wander yeah. off on his own. <laughs> he gets murdered by a priest. Is he leaving but now we know. No, he puts the key in his pocket, stands, and walks... Um, Who's a good pickpocket? Actually, yeah, I'll stay behind. Or perhaps... <laughs> is or anyone going with Mr. Wolf? Perhaps we could just Wolf? pick a drawer. That's what I'm... Is, is anyone going with Mr. Wolf? That's... 
I just, yeah, I'm. I'll go with them. I'm okay. Indicate to the. I'm assuming the priest doesn't want us all <coughs> all these strangers hanging out in his house. Well, the maid's still there, probably. What yeah, and this is also uh, probably his formal like gathering area happen. where he okay. consults. Uh, I, uh, when, if it's February, two months ago would have been three months ago. Was it three? It months? will have so, officially been three months ago. You were reading a slightly old newspaper. So, so it was on the solstice. No, it would have been in November. Okay, all right. Um, so. <laughs> George, I'm sorry, Weld and Byrne go into the church. Mm-hmm. The four of you stay here. I'm going to be looking around. Just kind no, of like... I follow Byrne. So, okay, the three, three of, of you... Sorry. Right we have there. split perfectly uh, in half. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to ask the maid if she has a garden. Yes, of course. Do you have poultry in the garden? Chickens? Something like that? A couple, yes. May I see what, you, what you're raising? Sure. You're gonna. Is anyone gonna let Mister Wil- or Captain Wilkerson go alone with the maid? Yes. I love asking these questions. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so you go outside with the maid all by yourself? Absolutely. In the middle of the day. It's not the priest. Yes. It's the maid. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's the maid. Maid. It's the so, priest's maid. Damn you, it. Captain Wilkerson heads outside. Be sure to take the herb garden. Captain outside. Wilkerson right. heads outside with the maid. Um, and while Professor Wentworth and Mister. Botticello. We're going to politely ram and, and you do, <laughs> you do introduce yourself as Professor. Yes. Whatever, so. so, Professor, the constable speaks up. So, Professor, where, where, oh, are yeah. you, where do you teach? <laughs> <laughs> Take him outside. Where do you teach? Yes, well, uh, hmm, Harvard. Oh, do you guys have those uh, those uh, Druid orders there? We have some books on Druid orders. Yes. Oh. Did you know that our our vicar is a, a member of the Derwent or Valley Order of the Golden Druid? <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's yeah, pretty well known tell around me here. More this, this true quest. He's he's that. the corresponding secretary. Meaning, uh, he, he's the secretary. He keeps track of uh, minutes and notes and that kind of thing. Who else is a member? Oh, uh, nobody that I know. Nobody here from town. There are other places. There are other towns here. In the valley, <laughs> guys, can we quit the cross, cross talk, please? Sorry. Um, other play, people, other towns in the valley, I'm sure have. Would you like me to roll anything for the druidic order? Sure. Oh yeah, is there uh, any what? chance I've heard of it also? Sure, go ahead. What roll? What? Uh, cool. I got it. Oh yeah. Um, it is definitely a British uh, order. Uh, it's the, the druidic order. Of... The Derwent Valley Order of the Golden Druid. It's an order devoted to collecting information about uh, information about and artifacts from pre-Roman Britain. Romulus and Remus, mm-hmm. children of wolves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. Um, <laughs> they they publish a quarterly journal about spearheads, costumes, old customs, <laughs> and they hold once yearly hold a midsummer <laughs> gathering. I knew it was the fucking priest. Once <laughs> once yearly they hold a midsummer <laughs> gathering, usually on the full moon. Or, or uh, on the day of the full moon, uh, and Called picnic it. at some <laughs> local ruin. Huh. Are we still in the, the, the waiting area? Yes. Or, uh, um, constable, mm-hmm. do you know? Is, is there a bathroom around here? I'm so, I, yeah, the all of, um, there's. I'm sure there's a privy here. Okay, I'm gonna go look for it real quick. I'll I'll be right back. Sorry about this. I, Okay. I'm so, gonna, you're going to leave I'm, the professor here by himself with the constable? I am. Yeah, I'm going to go for <laughs> okay, a room that they obviously the didn't party go Party splinters. <laughs> no, like, I'm, I'm totally okay with it. Okay. I got wounds. Like, so, yeah, Jason, the constable asked, <laughs> did you know we were looking for a sacrifice? <laughs> yes. No! <die>. <laughs> so, uh, let's talk about your dreams. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> like, if he's just like, let's talk about your dreams. I'm like... Okay, so you head, I assume, <laughs> towards the, not the bathroom. Not the bathroom. Okay, you're heading towards what? What are uh, you looking for? I'm his personal chambers. I'm assuming okay. you find, you there. find, there's only like three rooms there. You find his personal chambers. I'm just going to kind of look around for things. There's a desk, a bed. <laughs> I'm going to look over the desk, check there's it out. Some papers, and, um, some books in Latin. Do you speak and Latin? Locked drawers. <laughs> yes, I speak Latin. Uh, okay. You they're, better. <laughs> they're clearly occult. You can't pick up quite what they're talking about, but it's they're clearly occult books. 
Are you going to try... What are you doing? <laughs> you know other people speak Latin. True. <laughs> I will... I'll pocket one of the books. Okay. Is there... Is there anything else around, like the footlocker? Well, there's drawers there on the desk. desk? Yeah. I'm going to try to check the uh, Two of them are open. One is locked. I'm going to first go for the locked one. Okay. Try to um, lock pick on this thing. D- you okay? I got it. And Don't forget to mark it. Yay. Okay. Uh, you unlock the door, and inside is a small uh, journal. Uh, I'm going to try to quickly scan it. Um, it details um, information. It is a uh, translation, um, partially in English and partially in classic Greek. Um, it looks like it's being translated as there's translating notes in with it. Um, it talks about t- uh, the twenty first name day. Uh, the name Vane comes up a couple of times. It's hard to follow because you don't speak classic Greek, even if you have no, Greek, don't. you don't I, speak I don't classic speak either. Um, but Greek is, I mean, you're, you're well-versed in a couple other languages, so it's easy enough to pick up some root words there. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal, but you see, you do see the word vain twice, at least. Um, vain is in, is in V-A-N-E? That's so vain, or vain is in... V-A-N-E. As in servant. Oh, right. as, as, as in servant. Right. Um, you also pick up what you think or is the end. Latin word curse, but it, it's, again, it's Greek, and maybe it's the Greek word curse, but you're not sure. Yeah, it's all Greek to you. Yeah, it's all <laughs> Greek to you. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pocket the journal, too. Okay. <laughs> I will close. And relock. And relock. Okay. Go ahead. Right. Do I have to make another roll? Yes, you do. It's not like you can auto-lock something. Ah! Do I, uh, do I break the desk? You catch the church on fire. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, man. Um, you break your the, your tools in the lock. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a shame that the constable broke the lock while he was in there. Great. <laughs> so, I'm just going to close it. <laughs> He's going to be like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> um, You two come back the from the fire. church. Or you three come back from the church. He, he walked you in there like candles, waited, prayed with you if you'd like. Yeah, I do, and I'm also oh. specifically looking for anything that looks out of the ordinary, not Church of England, weird, um, strange worship. Uh, how stuff. familiar are you with the Church of England? How much time have you spent at in, in, in a church of the Church of England? Or I imagine that I probably would have been brought up Episcopalian, so I'd be pretty familiar. Okay. And he does study, and, and, and Weld studies religions. It's, it doesn't seem most of the time. it doesn't seem any more off than a small town Church of England. I mean, like. Okay. They're they're missing some of the iconography you might find in those places, like the bigger, more expensive things. But it's a small church, small town, so yeah. And also make small small talk and say, you know, I I'm a man of some spiritualism. I, I people need a place to worship, and I, I understand that yours is burnt down and it's been rebuilt, and you know this is very nice. But um, is there anything that the church needs to make it really fully complete? Any. Mm. Not really. Uh, we we've been done with the the building for the last fifteen years or so. Okay. Um, I do tuck something in the donation box when we first yeah. go in. Oh yeah, and, and but I mean, he talks about like like clearly there his congregation isn't growing uh, mm-hmm. unless there's a birth. Um, but you know the congregation is happy and they take care of each other. And when people are sick, they all t- they they all pitch in. It sounds like your typical small town. Yeah, and I'm making the small talk to yeah. both because I am interested and also to. See what you can do. Lengthen, you know, keep it there. Yeah. Chatting. John. How, um, has news of the Pinhu incident gotten to this? You d- even the, for the extra week you spent at the uh, Wilkerson State. Yeah, th- you saw nothing. Not a thing. Um, then I, I'm going to ask the priest. Um, have you? Uh, um, how familiar he would be with, or, you know, is he familiar with um, Gavigan Penhue? Has he ever... You mean Edward Gavigan? Edward Gavigan. Mm, I can't say that I am familiar with him at all. Is he telling the truth? Yeah, you can roll psychology. I got it. Yeah. Okay. This is a small town 
that's a high society thing most mostly so that makes sense no connections yeah area. i know well i was just curious when you uh met the gentleman when we um, were in london i apologize johnny jesse can you roll an idea your idea is you're screwed <laughs> nope okay no dice go ahead john i'm sorry um that was really it i just wanted to judge his reaction to okay. name dropping okay are you doing anything special out in the the garden how many chickens does she have oh, like three <laughs> <laughs> i'm just checking i'm checking on abracadabra i'm breaking into a desk how many chickens she got <laughs> I'm, I'm counting chickens <laughs> is, is is there wolf's bane in the garden uh, give me a spot. Actually, uh, give me a horticulture. <laughs> biology, <laughs> perhaps? Seriously? Botany. Actually, it falls under botany. There is I no believe. botany. Is me. We got a biology. I don't have botany on mine. Uh, I'll, take bo- I'll take biology or uh, natural history. Natural history. Medicine. Medicine. Natural history. Go ahead. <sighs> Made it. Okay. No. Okay. Just checking. <laughs> but you can mark the box. Oh, yes. Yeah, that, this is true. Bo- awesome. Botany. Bay. <laughs> Anything else, guys? You guys all kind of wander back in together at the same time. <laughs> Do I notice the Botticello is missing? Or is <laughs> no, no, he <laughs> wanders back in too. Okay, no. And the constable bu- doesn't really he, bother. He you wanders back in. None of the buildings are on fire. Well, Although, see, now yeah. I'm wondering who the constable is because he just like dropped that bomb in the middle of like no. He waited till I was alone. He was all like, "Oh yeah, Druid." <laughs> He doesn't want awkward silences. So he'll fill whatever fills his mind. <laughs> so, um, where to now? Serious. Are you guys going to the... the I'd like to go see the attack site. And, and have the, the constables, constables okay. walk, walk me through what happened. So, well, and this isn't necessarily the attack site. It's near the attack site, but it's what like... What the constable yeah. saw. Okay, no, that's fine. I just <laughs> no, want, <laughs> I want to clear that up before... It's just us and the constable on the way to the attack site, right? Yeah. So, like, when we get about halfway there, we're kind of alone, and we're like, so, constable, how long has he been a druid? What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, like so the rest of the uh-huh. party hears it. Like, so, oh, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, as that's... far as I know, he's been one since uh, his time at Cambridge. Is this typical in the Church of England? I mean, I know you guys don't recognize. <laughs> <it. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, uh, Druidic orders are all over. It's kind of a um, what do they, Captain? What do they call those in America? Like a boys club, is that right? Fraternity? Fraternity. It's like a fraternity. A historical society, a club? Yeah. yeah. And, they, they, and they get together, you know, and do stuff. Well, there was not an implication on, to your They get question, together and do things, there? gentlemen, on the full moon. No. Oh, of course, that's when no. the did things. No, no, no. <laughs> Interesting observation. So, uh, this is where I saw the, the the wolf, the big wild dog. Wild dog. Oh, <laughs> the question. Creature. Yes. What? what was, is Surveyne a member of the same society? Do you know? You know, the Surveyne and his family tend to, tend to stay um, at, up at Castle Plum and don't come down to the city much unless they need something, and then they usually send um, their cook. Castle Plum, where's that? Uh, it's up the hill, and he, mm-hmm. like, he's like, this is where I saw the thing. Oh, Castle Plum's, like, right there. So it's kind of, <laughs> it's <laughs> on the north side of town, is it? Ah. Mm. It's, like, right over there. So, um, it would be <laughs> up, it would be up where your pencil's at, literally. Um, it, it's still that northern area, so. Um, and you see an older, kind of run-down castle. Off in the distance, but it's clear that it's not seen its best days. It's only one. Well, Mr. Botticello, it looks like you're probably going to get your heart's content. Yeah. So I saw the, the the creature here from a distance, and I took my hunting rifle. You know, we had had attacks. And he shot it completely. Um, you know, surveying had us allowed the constabulary to carry weapons if need be. Like it's clear that he. He's nervous about having held a gun, let alone fired a gun at anything. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, three of us are openly carrying. <laughs> yeah, we're all like, shotgun? What? Uh, five, five of you. Five. Six of you are all carrying guns. Well, no, mine's, open, mine's in a open. case. Mine's concealed. Mine's concealed. Oh, mine's concealed That's as well. true. Um, I'm just, mine's a walking around gun. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is my walking around gun. <laughs> um, 
So I sh- I saw it kind of off, and he points, and you can see like like a cluster of trees where it might at night have obscured his vision. I fired and uh, a couple of shots, and you can you can still see where the bullet and he like starts walking towards. You can still see where the bullet hit the tree, the one, but the other one hit the the creature, and then it fled like almost straight north. Did it make a sound? <laughs> when you yeah. I'm gonna uh, kind of point towards the castle and be like, about that way. No, no, I mean kind of. He points a little more west, but still same. Oh, all right. Uh, to the backyard. Uh, it's the noise it made was like a uh, like a yelping dog. Like um, if you ever like pushed a dog away from the trash with your foot in a hmm. very swift manner. <laughs> Meaning kicked it. <laughs> you could call it that. Well, bully for you. That's a tough shot. Well, thank you. Thank you. Can I investigate closer? Like, yeah, yeah. You know, he, he's so. still walking. Like he wants to show you. Like Everything. he he fired twice and he hit once. That's pretty awesome. As he's walking, I'm going to tap the professor and Captain Wilkerson Wilkerson on the shoulder and kind of motion for them to slow up a bit as we walk forward. Um, As I went into the vicar's living quarters and perused (laughs) his... I I, I made sure he's walked away. The constable. Well, right, but oh. the constable is completely all about showing him this ball. Like they, yeah. they kept walking. It, it, this is moment yeah, of triumph. He's like, no, it was dark. I it assume we know this. <laughs> These yeah. two talking, so we can, you know, like engage him. Actually, oh yeah, oh, what's it like around here? I'm, okay. a, lot, a lot of hunting, and you know, I we found a book on uh, occultish stuff. I wasn't quite able to figure out, and I found his personal journal. <laughs> do you read? Do you read? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, like every time I, he's I, like, I got a book. I'm like, just do you read? Do you do you speak Greek? <laughs> yes. You speak classic Greek, uh, probably regular Greek. I have Greek, Arabic, Latin, French, and English. Okay, uh, roll your Greek at half. I'm gonna take the occult book. Oh, I oh, okay. Uh, do you speak Greek? Pass. No, journal is Greek. Hot six. Occult book no, no, is the Latin. occult book. Is, oh, the occult book is Latin. Okay, so the classic Greek. Um, you kind of muddle through it. It is a little rough because it's it's <laughs> it was like uh, uh, like the form uh, is wrong. It, it's the structure is wrong. Um, it talks about the. Um, the women of the Vane family, when they turn 21, obtain the curse of uh, the moon. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> well, no, clearly he's, they're just talking about... <laughs> yeah. 21's a bit late. Yeah. Right? yeah 21 Ow. is a bit late for that. <laughs> late bloomers, right, these uh, Is there anything else important in that book? Um, it, he's translating... Um, what it means? Uh, I'm gonna check his translation as I go if I can. It's it's rough. He's trying. It's clear he's trying to yeah. translate this, but he doesn't. He no may, formal training in doing. Well, it. he speaks Greek just like you, and he could, you can see where he's making mistakes, and you would see where you might make those same mistakes. Mm. Um, you're just getting having his to go yeah. off of. I can see yeah. where it went wrong. Um, uh, it, the, there's the mark of the beast on all daughters of the veins. Um, Any description or location given? Where the mark is? Yeah. Uh, it, it's just a type of curse. Like, you can roll your occult, but it's something um, a witch would put on someone. It's not a place. Not a physical. It's not, like, it's not a physical mark. It's uh, a, yeah. It's not like, check the left cheek. Um, okay. <laughs> There's a half moon birthmark on the left buttock. <laughs> Strangely, um, there's been no daughters born to the veins for four generations. So, um, the current daughter of the veins is the first of... The family in how old is she? Twenty years, twenty-one. <laughs> how many generations? Four. So, so 80, years. 80 years or so. It could be a little more. Um, everybody that's standing there that like you talk, you're talking about the veins. So not you, Jesse, but Scott and Jason. Would you roll idea? Pass. Got it. Okay. Robert Carlyle. His ancestor was named Vane. Awesome. The Vane family, now that Scott, you, you realize this, the Vane family had illegitimate fam- children that they probably sent to the New World. And they became the Carlisle family. Who are werewolves! Yay! <laughs> Well, but we because talking, they're illegitimate, they we were may, talking to. But because they're illegitimate, they may not carry the curse. Yeah. Or Wrong, it might, they it might skip a generation or whatever. No, but, no they yeah. Do. Or it's you guys, uh, bitch yeah. is a werewolf. <laughs> the bitch is a werewolf. <laughs> Eric 
Carlisle is terrible. There right. are murders happening back in the States. So There are murders happening back in the... Oh. So, is there any way we can telegram? <laughs> no, I'm not telegramming over the pond again. That was bad. The last time that happened, it went wrong. So, um... Your next stop is the vein is There's... Castle Plum, I assume. <laughs> well, right now I'm trying to decide if I want to tell Botticello just to go in ham. Well, I have, I have the odd. Oh, uh, what's the other book say? Feeling. Um, it's it's uh looking at curses and how to lift them and what to do with yeah. them. It's vague. It's very vague. Like it's kind of iffy on what it might or might you know. If it's a curse under the third moon of the second house, it, you dance three times and <laughs> throw some parsley in the air. Like, this doesn't... You don't know if this applies at all. There, there's yeah. been one attack. There was no attack the next month. I have the odd feeling the vicar is actually trying to help this person. Okay. This is the I version. give Botticello back the occult book, or did you or did you have it? I gave it yeah, to you to yeah. read it. Okay, I give it to him over. Okay. Uh, what I'm willing to bet is... The fallout of what has happened has been... They didn't see it coming because it hasn't happened in a while. She shifted. She murdered people. They've covered for it. They consulted the priest because he's the local holy man. Uh, he has probably been trying to come up with a way through his religious studies to counteract it. And they've been keeping her in the castle during the full moons. Very likely. None of which I'm willing to bet will keep your character from going in there with the intent to murder everyone. <laughs> no, there, there, there's a difference between the intent of doing it themselves and having evilness stressed upon them. Hmm? Really? Yes. Oh, well. So, from now on, you're not going to murder heretics. You're going to so, politely teach them the ways of the heretics. No, no, no. So, <laughs> evilness thrust upon them is lower on the hierarchy of sins, yes? Exactly. <laughs> Do you really want to get about into evil drop on your face in the middle of the night? <laughs> well, as, as Mr. Botticello says, it's lower on the hierarchy of sins, yes. Uh-huh. So, where's your next stop? Castle the, the constable is still... Uh, yeah, he's like totally showing him this... Like, uh, and I'm checking out the tree. If we see the daughter, you need to like touch her with the silver or something to check. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, oh, like, I, like, I think it's a stunning like idea. Like, just brush her with it or something. He's got a garrot. You can't pull that out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, excuse me. <laughs> well, you some jewelry, my lady. Wrap it around his, wrap it around his finger. And well, yeah, you can have, like, a little wide palm or something when you shake hands. <laughs> oh, I wonder if the silver would... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it didn't work. Oh, well, God. I mean, if you have to implement the weapon of choice to yeah, co- make silver contact with their... He's asking me to punch her. <laughs> no, I'm asking you to like, hey, no, you said to punch her. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I was saying that. He go into that. a stranger's house and rub their daughter. <laughs> just straight up. With, with the brass something. knuckles. He was, he was implying that I should touch her with the brass knuckles when I suggested your weapon is more concealable. He was like, no, po- a garrot can't possibly Here, do that. Give me the garrot. <laughs> None of this is in character because we're not, we're not. Can I have the garrot, please? <laughs> We need to discuss this in character, I think. Yeah. No. Can I have the garage? I'm with the constable. I, I, said, I don't care. I'm going to get the garage. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I think you mean the silver one you're holding? So I, I think we should visit. I, I look around like I have no clue what they're talking about. I'm, I'm just going to go off the assumption that it's been two months, so there's no physical evidence worth even looking for. Well, I mean, you do see the, the shot into the tree. Like, he, it clearly uh, like hit the tree a little bit. And Any blood stains or no, like really. human level claw marks on the trees to. Uh, give me a spot hidden. Thank you. Yes. Um, you do find a small patch of fur. Caught in a tree, probably fifteen yards farther northwest, the east, east, kind of in the direction of Castle Plum. Completely not in the direction that that <laughs> the constable says that the thing fled. The dog, the wild dog. Um, it's you know, it's well, like horribly bad. Or again, he was firing from back. Like we're looking at the shot. It was probably too dark for him to really That's, know what so direction like he, it ran off. Yeah. He, he says, I think it went that way. No, actually, yeah. it clearly yeah. went this way. Yeah. So you find a clump of fur. Um, I'm going to collect it. 
Because do you have uh, natural history? I don't. Okay. I do. Roll and roll base. Do you point it out? Oh, I'm sure. Sure. So nice. Yeah, go ahead. Nope. Yup, I got. <laughs> what? Wait. Oh, one. Zero, zero. That's a hundred. That's, that's a hundred. That's a botch. Yeah. I got uh, it. You are not aware if these trees are going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Okay. I rub my skin in poison ivy. Yes. Yeah. You, you're like, hmm, my skin's dry. I'll pick this three la- or this three-leaved uh, aloe, plant. aloe plant and rub it on my face. Um, you got, like, you, you grab the fur. Are you going to show everyone, I assume? Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. is it? I guess to me, does it? I mean, it smacks of this is left behind. Cause it's, yeah, well, it, it's some sort of animal fur. If it was a wild dog, this might be the wild dog's fur. It could also be a deer or something. I don't mm. know. Do they have deer in England. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, no, they have stags. Stags. So, uh, yeah, I collect. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, guys, you showed co- what color? Yeah, yeah, it's like like a brownish, grayish, reddish, like proper model. wolf color. Okay. Um, well, if, did you get your? Oh yeah. Your, oh yeah, it's wolf color. I mean, if you had to guess, it's wolf. Okay. Um, from the length, you can't male, really tell. female. You can't tell from. Okay. Um, but from the length of the hair, it might be an abnormally hairy or long-haired wolf. Like normally shaggy. It can be, yeah, shaggy. That's the word. Shaggy. Thank okay. you. Does make sense. So yeah, then definitely wolf. You agree? Mm. Yes. Oh, well, you know, wild dog, wolf. That's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the people That's the constable, like, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's totally a wild dog, wolf. Yes, wolf. No, clearly this is a savage beast, and you are lucky to be alive. Yeah. So. Um, has, has anyone from Castle Plum come down? I mean, has anybody in the town uh, seen any of them? Um, I don't know if they... Surveyed son Lawrence comes down from time to time. Do they take visitors? I'm sure that you could arrange that. With, uh, Captain, with your family ties, I'm sure that Sir Vane would be happy to entertain. <clears throat> Wonderful. Do then thank you, Constable. That's, you've been much help. Yeah. Do the Vanes ever um, participate in the uh, rituals of the Order of the Golden Druid? No, I don't believe so. Not that you've seen. Well, yeah, just curious. I wander off towards Castle Plum. Not You're very, heading that way? Not, very, fa- not very fast, but I yeah. said bye to the constable and you or guys are wrapping up. I'm mm. just going to walk mo- through, I said, through, through, the, through the wilderness? Or yes. are you going to go back to the road? Oh, no. Okay, well. there's, yeah, there's, and by road, it's more like cart tracks. Well, so, that's, yeah. but I mean, yeah. civilized yeah. paths. No. Whatever, those, whatever form that may take. I'm going to end up in the backyard. I'm going to come okay. in. Okay, so are you guys all kind of just wandering, like, thinking the constable is willing to walk back to town by himself? Yeah, I pass over the silver wire. So, you guys are all heading towards Castle Maine? Yes. Okay. And that'll do us tonight for Nerds Maine Presents, Masks of Neural Tip. Uh, you can catch us on Facebook, you can catch us on Twitter, and you can go to Slash Loot and buy our shirts. We'll talk to you guys very soon. Have fun assaulting the castle.